on the table. Who is going to tell us the title of the mm -hmm. I will get up and say this. Yes, who is telling us? Jesus, the rising Messiah is coming. Amen. Jesus, the rising Messiah is coming. Mm -hmm. Yes. Someone also to tell us what he or he knows. Jesus, the coming Messiah. I think I will agree with you. Jesus, the coming Messiah. Jesus, the coming Messiah. Amen. Amen. Let us first read from John chapter 4. We leave at Johannes' host of The Gospel of John chapter 4. Johannes' host of John chapter 4 and let's try to read from verses 15 26 15 and 20 is anybody there? Read it for us if you are there. If you are there, let's listen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm reading from John chapter 4, verses 15 to 26. I'm reading from the New King James Version. Hallelujah. Amen. The woman said to him, Sir, give me this water that I may not thirst, nor come here to draw. He says, said to her, Go, call your husband and come here. The woman answered and said, I have no husband. He says, said to her, You have well said, I have no husband. For you have had five husbands, and the one whom you now have is not your husband. In that you spoke truly. The woman said to him, Said, I perceive that you are a prophet. Our fathers worship on this mountain. And you Jews say that in Jerusalem is a place where one ought to worship. He says, said to her, Woman, believe me, the hour is coming when you will neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem worship the Father. You worship what you do not know. We know what we worship. For salvation is for the Jews. But the hour is coming, and now is, when the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father is seeking such to worship him. God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. The woman said to him, I know that the Messiah is coming, who is called Christ. When he, is, when he comes, he will tell us all things. Verse 26, Jesus said to her, I who speak to you am he. Amen. Amen. The sign was given yesterday. But today the man says he is here. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible has strange words. The Bible gebruikt soms heel rare woordjes. There are some husbands that are not Irish. Some mannen zijn niet onze mannen. You call him your husband. Je noemt hem misschien uw man. But Jesus said that man is not for you. Maar Jezus zegt dat man is niet voor u. That is strange. Heel raar. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, when we talk about Messiah, what do we mean? Als we het hebben over de Messias, over wat hebben we het? Now, when we talk about Messiah, all that we are trying to say is that the one anointed by God. That we are saying the one that is empowered by God's Spirit. And he has the strength of the Holy Spirit. To deliver his people and establish his kingdom. Om ons te kunnen verlossen en zijn koninkrijk op te bouwen. That's all what we mean by Messiah. And that is eigenlijk het woord Messias. Someone who has been anointed. Iemand die gezalfd is. By God Himself. Door God zelf. And he is empowered by the Spirit. And he has the power to create the Holy Spirit. To deliver his people. On the mass 
mensen te verlossen. And also to establish the kingdom of God. En om zijn koninkrijk op te bouwen. Halleluja. Now, the Jews, the way they understood their Messiah was different. De Joden, hoe dat zij eigenlijk het Messiah zien, is helemaal anders. They were looking for a political leader. Ze keken naar iemand die in het politiek zat. Who will help them defeat their enemies and bring in a golden era of prosperity. Mensen die eigenlijk hen zullen helpen om hen vijanden tegen te strijden. En dat zijn heel veel succes. But they were in distress. Want ze waren in problemen. They were in problems. Ze waren in heel veel problemen. So they were looking forward to a person who would come. Dus ze verwachten eigenlijk iemand die hen zou komen tegen. And take arms. And take arms. And take arms. This was the kind of Messiah these people were looking for. So the Messiah took it away. And they are still looking for that man. And they are still looking for that person. Because in Judaism, what Eric has said, Judah is here. The Christ has not come. They say that Eric, that Christ is not here. But Jesus is saying here that. But Christ is here. The one you are talking to. That the here and the here that is praying. I am him. I am the Messiah. Hallelujah. In Christianity, in the Christian dom, Messiah refers to Jesus' role as a spiritual deliverer. That Eric that word Messiah as Jesus' the role as a spiritual deliverer. Setting his people free from sin and death. He had then fall for lost from from sin and from the dead. When we come to Christianity, so that's when we are Christian. That's all Messiah means to us. Just as that new world begins. Someone who will come. Even this alcohol. Deliver us. Us from lost. From sin. On our sin. For sin was killing us. Was those on the one who had stabbed him? Sin was killing us. Those on the stairs. Because of sin. And those on. Every person was destined to die. Must have either an extern. But God, through His grace, through Jesus Christ. But God, through His grace, through Jesus Christ. Sent the Messiah. Sent the Messiah to come and deliver us. Almost the whole world. So we read from something from Luke chapter two. Dus we lezen met Lucas hoofdstuk 2. Vers 13 en 14 zegt dat suddenly the angel was joined by a vast host of others, the armies of heaven praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and peace on earth to those with whom God is pleased. Now when the angels had returned to heaven, the shepherds said to each other, Let's go to Bethlehem. Let's see the thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. Now, when this Messiah was born, even shepherds in the bush, when they were caring for their sheep, the Bible says all of a sudden, an angel dropped. Is this a witch? Is it a hex? Maybe you and I were there. We will start running away. But the shepherds, they stood. And the angel proclaimed some words. That glory to God in heaven. For something has happened on earth. The man who is to deliver people from sin has come. He has been born in Bethlehem. Go and see. The sign is that you will see a child wrapped in clothes in a manger. When you go, you see that. I believe there were so many children over there. And if you look about this, a sign. And yesterday we heard about that, so I won't go there. So this people went there. Hallelujah. Amen. So this Messiah. He came that people will be free. People, people will be rescued. For we were at the point of time. When you read Genesis, he said, as the people, the population increased, sin also increased. But as the mental who is not going to social. So there were some people who were even like killing people for nothing. But our mental person has been more than our own needs. If you want to kill someone, you just come and tell him, I'll kill him for nothing. These are the people we call the, 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 the contractors. Normally they check. Before they go to care. But in those days, people, people just laugh killing. So I'll kill the person for you free. People were in danger. 
So they have people who have blood and the other blood is Assyrian. And so they found out that there are people of Judah. So the people of Judah. So the people of Judah. They didn't want anything to do with these people. So they didn't want anything to do with these people. Why? Because they call them unclean. Because they are not clean. Because you have other blood in your blood. Because you have other blood in your blood. So the children they give birth. So the children they were nobody to them. So and even them. when somebody from Judah wants to go to Galilee, the self has even when you dare to leave. Instead of man, passing through that strange path through Samaria, no matter what you via Samaria, huh? They will go the other way around. But from that, that nix me wollen man dem hand. They will not do anything with them. But when that God came, but when God 
power. The word of favor. The word of favor. What did he get? To the head. He broke that tradition. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. One day the Bible said Jesus was going to Galilee. So painting uh, Jesus na Galilee. And he said today I will pass through Samaria. And he said from that I will go to Samaria. Even though our tradition tells us not to pass through there. I will do that. To let the people know that. But I am the man God of all. Hallelujah. So he passed through there. When you go to uh, a certain uh, town there called Saika, the disciples are going for food. So Jesus was there alone. And Jesus was there alone. And lo and behold, there was a woman was a young girl who was coming for water. And when he came, and him, Jesus engaged her with some conversation. And Jesus began a conversation with her to food. Sister, please, can you give me some water to drink? My gosh, you need some water to drink. And when that lady saw his dress in the room, and when the dame saw who that is all in clothes was, she would say that this one is a Jew. They want to make better clothes. And tradition forbids. And no man who wants to go to the mall is asking me to speak. Who should ask water from? Somebody. You must have need water from me, friend. Jesus has done that. And Jesus has done that. Jesus has asked. And Jesus has asked. So the woman was baffled. This Eric was embarrassed. How can you do this? Who can you do it to? How do you ask me water? Who can you water from me, friend? This is wonderful. That that was Eric is wrong. Hallelujah. Amen. The Messiah has come. The Messiah has come. Has come to unite people. The Messiah has come. No, that should not be the norm. Jesus said, "Me, so we did not." And the 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 woman was looking at 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 him. And the dame came to him. Jesus said, "Give me water." And Jesus said, "Give me what?" He said, "No." And the same man me. Then the man Jesus said. And Jesus said, "If you know the person you are talking to, as you know it, but we that you pray." And the person who is asking for water, and you know what for you pray, you would rather ask him that he will give you. Leave in the water. Give me water. Unfortunately, the woman couldn't understand. They begin to what Jesus would do. Like Nicodemus. Like Nicodemus. She couldn't understand. They begin to what Jesus would do. She took all what Jesus was saying literally. They now others actually hear what Jesus said. Jesus said figuratively. They must have taken it literally. She thought Jesus was talking about actual water. And they thought that Jesus was talking about water. But Jesus was not talking about water. But Jesus was talking about water. Jesus was talking about the temple life. But when you ask me, and I give you, what I will give, what I will give, will give you actual water. 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 And you have nothing to fight. How can you give me that water? Does who put the hair and make? Are you being shamed? Hey, does that mean? And you don't understand the person. Oh, it's painful. Does that tell me? When you are talking sense to somebody's head, does he move your neck? Is that what you say? And the person doesn't understand you. And the person will start. It's not painful. It's not painful. By Jesus. By Jesus. The man Jesus. The man Jesus. So humble as he is. Took his time. For the woman. Because salvation was coming. Amen. That salvation belonged to us with the Samaritans. Hallelujah. Then Jesus, the, the woman went on to say that. And the vow said, Do you, do you, 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 if you see how we measure the hand, they talk. Do you, you, want to tell me? Will you to him next? That you are far bigger and important than the man who died this way. That you bear the land like this, that the person in the water put in the basket. I'm sure it was our ancestor Jacob. What is any one of the ancestors? That big man Jacob. Jacob. He died this way. He died here. But you are sitting here. And you think? Go all up here. That the person who died. I'm trying to tell you that you have better water than this. And accept him that you have better water than this. Who are you? We met you, Bruce. Hallelujah. Was looking at her. And he was looking at her. Oh, if you know the person you are talking to. If 
you know that man is messed, if you know that man is sin, if you know that man is country, you will go on your knees and ask him to pray for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then Jesus went on to tell this woman that, look, it is a message come from the Jews. Do you know that? And the woman said, hey, look. And the Frau said, you people, you tell us that when only we come to Jerusalem to worship, that we shall be saved. You know that our forefathers, they worship here. But our forefathers have been here. Or our girls, do you know that? You mean our father Joshua. Here is where he met the people. And then asked them if you want to worship to the God to us. Our fathers have worshipped here on this mountain. But you people are saying the wrong thing. Oh, Mama. It seems you are not understanding me. You are not understanding me. I want to tell you. That there will come a time that people will not worship here in Jerusalem or Bethlehem or anywhere. But God is going to live for people who will worship in spirit and in truth. These are the people that He needs. Hallelujah. Then, realizing that. Uh, no, she did not understand that Jesus' offering of water, he meant uh, eternal life. And that if she accepted his offer, her deepest needs would be satisfied forever. Dus ze begreep dat Jezus het eigenlijk had over het lange leven. En als ze dat maar accepteert, zou het een leven voor altijd. Nou, realize that the woman would have uh, to see her personal sin. Dus hij besefte dat de vrouw van eigenlijk haar eigen zonde ze ziet en haar... Before she could see her spiritual need... Voordat ze haar spirituele nood ziet... Jesus began to speak of her maritime affairs. Jezus begon te spreken over haar huwelijksproblemen. I want to save you. Ik wil je niet verlossen. But I want to let you know where you are. Maar ik wil eerst dat u beseft waar dat u zich bevindt. Really, if you know where you come from, as you know where from where you come, whatever you are doing, whatever you are doing, you have a significant thing. Thank you, thank you. Jesus says, I have to let this woman know even her mother tells me. Jesus said, I want that the woman be safe, that it's with her huge baby. He said, Go and bring your 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 husband. And he said, I have a man and her. Now you are asking for something good. But you are asking for its good. You are asking for the living water. But you are asking for living water. But I don't want the living water to be for you alone. But I will need that anchor for you, miss. Go and bring your husband. Have your man. And the woman said. And the Frau said. I don't have. But but I have him. I don't have. I have him. You don't have. Heeft u hier man vroeg? Then Jesus said, yes, you have answered right. En Jezus zei inderdaad, dat is een correcte antwoord. You have answered right. Heeft goed geantwoord. The reason is that she was before the one with divine knowledge. Want natuurlijk ze stond voor de persoon met zo'n kennis. He knows everything. He weet alles van mij. So he said, if you want something good from me, dus als je iets goeds wilt van mij, go and bring your husband. Ha, uw man en haar zijn jezus. There is a woman I know somewhere. Er is een dame die ergens kent. I don't know so This woman was uh, undocumented. And there was Eric Ivihau. And the same was her husband. One was Eric Almasar. They were living somewhere there. <laughs> and then one day when this woman was coming from work. And opened the phone, the fraud was from work. She heard that. The police and the immigration officers have gathered somewhere, giving papers to all the plenty people. And they had to hold that the police and the immigration officers have, and it's the men from the Zimbabwe and Brazil. So we had a document here. You know what this woman did? I will first go for the document first. So they say, I can't wait for my document. I won't tell my husband. I can't wait for my husband. I will go for it first. I can't wait for my document. When I get it. And as I get it. This man has been threatening me at home. But when I get it. But 
als ik het heb. En hij heeft het niet. En hij heeft het niet. Dan hou ik je zelfs. Dan ga je If you are like that, change your mind. So that woman went in. And you know what happened? This woman was arrested. And taken to Ghana. The husband was there. Nothing happened to the man. But for the woman, she was taken to Ghana. Jesus said, if you want something good from me, it should be for you and your husband. So go and bring your husband. I want you to go where you are. I want you to go where you are. Ik wil dat u beseft waar dat u zich bevindt. And if you begin to repent and change your mind. En als u daar verandert als een persoon. There are some people who all of they are lost, but they don't know that they are lost. Er zijn sommige mensen die zijn zo verdwaald, maar ze weten niet dat ze verdwaald zijn. Je moet bragen. Dus praten ze heel goed. Maar ze zijn verdwaald. You don't know where to go. Je weet niet waar je naartoe moet. He said of saying the truth. And in place of the waarheid te zeggen, to the end. We show you the way. So that even you can help it. You feel shy. Ben je eigenlijk verlegen? Like this, our woman. Onze vrouw. Who asked the woman you were good? We vrouw die zijn echt goed. Maar soms. Maar soms. It is raining. It is aan het regenen. And this woman wants to cross the road. The road. And the vrouw wil eigenlijk door door de straat gaan. It is raining. It is aan het regenen. The cars will be coming. The autos komen eraan. Speeding. And because of the hair, <laughs> she was trying to protect the hair. <laughs> Instead of protecting herself, <laughs> so in the road, <laughs> she was trying to cover the hair. <laughs> not paying attention to the cars coming. <laughs> they don't know that they have risk. <laughs> but go on to you. <laughs> to tell the woman to hurry up. Then you hear something from Jesus said, "Go and bring your husband." Jesus said, "Have your man and have." You have to know. You put to know it. Your personal sin. That you personally can solve. Before your spiritual need will become clear. Before that your spiritual needs come. I don't have a husband. I have him. And Jesus said, "You have answered very well." And Jesus said, "You have answered very well." You have had five husbands. And even the one you were living now, the one you were living with now, he is not for you. You think about it. At first, she tried to hide her sins, but Jesus knew all and made her know that she is before the one with divine knowledge. So she therefore turned the conversation to religion. And now it's related to the the spread that is over religion. By referring to the dispute between the Jews and the Samaritans. As we want to speak about the Jews and the Samaritans. Talking about the location of the temple. Speak over the temple. These these are not important issues. That was too deep. The important issue is your sin. And the last thing that you must talk about is your sin. And what's happening with your sin? What are you doing? In your closet. What do you ask? What are you doing when you are alone? What do you ask? What are you doing when you are in school? What do you ask? What are you doing when you enter the toilet? What do you ask? Toilet. Recently, I and my wife we went to we went for kinder hespre. Just to go to hespre. No, no, no. And then the teacher told us. And and the lecturer said to us. They don't want the children to go out. Or to go to the toilet with telephones. The women need that the children that are in the same hands with the ASS. And they make sure that they don't allow two people to go to the toilet at the same time. And of two men, they only need to have like the ASS. Why when they go to the toilet? Why don't they have their hands? Something happens. The girl then rubs it. Something happens. Right. Yeah, that something happens. Something happens. When you are there alone. As we are laying bed on the toilet. What happens? What is going to happen? The divine Messiah. The queer Messiah. Who knows everything? The others can. Whatever you are. Why are you sick? And whatever you are doing. What are you up to? Be mindful. Wait for safety. That he knows everything. What about others? 
If you want to be saved, if you need the eternal life from him, then know where you are. And know what you are doing. And what I do. God wants you to change. God will that you forget. That's why he has come. And that is a good. God wants a good life for you. He wants a good life for you. After all, he is a God of favor. He is a God full of favor. So in Isaiah 61, he said that the 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 spirit of the Lord is upon me. And in Isaiah 1, he said that the face of God is upon me. That he has anointed me to set the captives free. And he has made himself of me. God will set you free. What will you do? But do you yourself want to be free? But will you be yourself? This is a question you need to ask. That would you ask? So that when we think about our children, but as you think about our children, we want them to prosper. We want them to get good. But you see, they will be playing them offline. But that doesn't spare us. Go to school and there's someone who will tell you, you go to school for me. Is that the reason why I'm so worried about my hair? That's so for me. If there is an opportunity for all these old men and women to go to school again, to go to school again, you see how many of us got the opportunity, the best of it all. The best of us and all the kids. Sometimes sit your parents down. Sometimes the parents sit your elders. And let the parents be faithful of them. And say to them who are sit. Tell them the actual truth. En zeg die mensen wat de waarheid is. How you have suffered at home? Hoe dat je van alles hebt meegemaakt thuis. There was this lady who was a clap for her. There was this lady. It wasn't Carl. Who said, Pastor? Pastor. You know why I am so crazy about Jesus Christ? I'm not used to hang that up. You know when I was in my country at home. You know you came in Ireland, right? I used to go round and beg people. I beg around on the beach. That they should bring their dirty clothes. That they would very clean. For me to wash. You to bring them and mix up the clothes. And I wash them. And now it's the wash and everything. I cannot even shake them. Even shake. But if I should chant and the person says stop, I am in trouble. Now the man says or the man says stop to me. So I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I and by the grace of this man, who is a God of favor, the woman is in Europe. This girl is in Europe. Very strange. In her name. And she has been able to build two big houses. And she has three great houses built. And she has given one of the houses free to the people of God. And one of the houses is the people of God to pass it to the pastors and the men of God to come to that end to work. Why? Because because she has kennis gift, so that the God for that day. And the Lord has rescued her. And now she has her own right to gift. Go and ask them. Go and ask them. Some of them went to the bush early in the morning. Some are going to the bush in the morning. They go to collect kunda nuts. Besa kunda nuts. Kunda nuts are going to be gathered. They go to collect these things. And these nuts are going to be gathered. They go to collect or cut or steal some people's banana. Other men are going to steal banana and steal. They come to sell to give you food. To be eaten to him. Now that person wanted to come here. And these men give the more they get on the road. They go to school. They go to school. They go to school. They go to school. And when they came here, but do not send a hero. They did all the work that human beings should not do. They did all the work that you and I need to do. They brought you here. They brought you here. They gave you the more they get on the road to come. For fit food. Om te kunnen eten. In order to send you to school. En de mogelijkheid om naar school te gaan. Now when you are sleeping. En nu als je slaapt. You look, you get up and go to school there. En je maakt je wakker om naar school te gaan en dan begint je lawaai te maken. Behave like a bee. 
And you behave like a man. You begin to do this. And you may allow the master of some things. Give us a chance. Give us a chance. And you may not see what I meant. And you may not go fix. Remember where you are. Thank you. So give us a chance. And you may not go fix. Aanvaard u die situatie. En de vrouw zegt, oh Heere God. Ik zie inderdaad dat u een profeet bent. Ik zie dat u een profeet bent. Jezus heeft de geheime dingen geopend. En dat is de werken en de daden van de Messiah. En laat ons zien waar het is. Voordat hij ons helpt. Dus als u geen berouw hebt, dan kan God niets voor u doen. Als u geen berouw hebt, als u niet stopt wat dat u zich bevindt, u kent het zelf, u weet het zelf. Als u het niet meer stopt, dat de liefde zaken. Die meisjes, vertel je. En die jongens. Laat mij u iets vertellen. De wereld is in constant verandering. Er komt constant een nieuwe zin. De schoonheid komt. Maar het woord van God. 